I got the ring and the diamond is the diamond my dad gave my mom when he proposed. So we get there, the wind is probably 25 to 30 miles an hour. I had like a little bowl I was gonna wash her feet in and I brought hot water and a, and a Yeti cup. It was so freaking cold. Oh, my words fall short. I got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? And I'm, I'm praying to God and I've been praying, Lord, like you told me it was gonna be good weather today. You told me. There's gonna be no people here. Like I know I can hear your voice, but like, what happened here? <laughs> and he's like, like you, you lack trust. And you never do. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah. And I look and I see a silhouette. That's kind of weird. And I noticed it was definitely Cameron. And so I started running and I ran down there and it was him and he, it was just so beautiful. Yeah. And like when she parked, I had to like reset some stuff up and like 25 hour wind completely stopped. Like not a soul to be found. And so like, the weather was perfect it was. and there was no one there. Mm -hmm. And so when she's running up, like it is just us in this whole space, which made it so perfect. Yeah. It was unbelievable it was uh, like, what God did. He blessed that moment. Oh, Aniston. Oh my gosh. You look so beautiful. Gosh, that is a beautiful dress. Yeah, that is beautiful. Best friends getting married. I know. Okay, stop. <laughs> I can't even see. I like <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> I love you, Anne. You look so handsome. Look at you. You look so cute. Oh, come on, my soul. Oh, don't you get shy on me. Lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside. This is your wedding day. All the people gathered here are celebrating you. They want to make much of this moment in your lives because they recognize that it's not just human emotion. We recognize that this is the byproduct of a divine hand in both of your lives. We see so much of God's fingerprints in your life, right? We see so much of God's inner workings in your life. And that has not happened just casually or happenstance. You're not just a lucky one. I want to honor both of you because you have positioned your hearts before the Lord in a way that you've allowed Him to write your love story, and so this is what you get. You guys are just so dynamic, so beautiful, so awesome, so gentle. I feel like I stand before the lion and the lamb. Well, like our first day, she just had so much peace. Um, obviously, I love her heart and her love for the Lord. and. And she's so much fun to be around, but she's just a constant source of peace. I just, I love his heart and his passion for the Lord. He just is a man after God's own heart, and he just desires his will. 
she's just comforting, you know. It's just, it, it's hard to describe. Uh, and I just love it, you know, because it's, it's really like a supernatural presence. His love for people, his love for me, um, he just, it's so genuine and it's real. And I know that he loves me so much and I love his character. I love who he is um, and I adore everything about him. I, Cameron, take you, Aniston. I, Aniston, take you, Cameron, be my husband. To be my wife, my friend, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of our family and friends, I offer you my soul and vow. To love you unconditionally, to be your faithful partner, for better or worse, for richer or poorer. Sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, in joy as well as in sorrow. From this day forward, till death do us part. Till death do us part. Amen. Under the sovereignty of God, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Cameron, you can kiss your bride. I announce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cameron and Anderson Rose. Love Aniston. Your passion and excitement about life and those you love is unrivaled. Aniston, you, you probably knew or maybe you didn't. Every Friday morning, me and Cameron, we got together over the phone and we prayed. You see, I didn't get to know my uh, wife's father. I didn't get the privilege of knowing him. But Cameron, you know, I want you to know me. So that's why I wanted to take the time to pray with you over her. When I gave you her hand today, it was a big piece of my heart. I treat her gently. She was a precious soul and treat her with care. I knew I wouldn't tell her I loved her until I, I knew I was gonna marry her. You know, I knew I loved her about a month and a half from our first date, but I spent a lot of time with the Lord trying to figure out what that really was like and what real love meant. The moment I knew he was the one, um, honestly, when I first met him, I was like, I'm gonna marry this guy.
what God has joined together, let no man separate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time. I know, you jumped the gun. I said we were ready. So I'm not going to cry anymore. You see, go over there and sit. Round two! 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 Round Let's see, the first time I uh, spent time with Cameron, I uh, took him to shoot. Uh, so as any army sniper uh, would, you know, I wanted to check this guy out. Uh, he was going to uh, be pursuing my daughter. Um, I can tell you this, that uh, he passed that test that day. Barely. Five, <laughs> oh, two inches. What up, man? We passed. Um, when I got home, I talked to my wife and I said, Man, Anison, she's going to marry this guy. <laughs> and a uh, uh, month went by, and then they started dating, falling in love. Um, then he proposed to her. Um, we went to Jim and Leslie's house for a, a big old celebration. Um, and then all of a sudden, Cameron takes off his clothes. <laughs> and he jumps in a pool. And I looked at my wife, I go, she's going to marry this guy? <laughs> I'm so thankful for you. I love you so much. Can't wait to do life with you. Uh, this is going to be such a beautiful day. I can't wait to see you. Um, yeah, the rest is history. Cameron, I am just so in love with you, and I'm so excited to be your wife, and I'm so excited to just serve you and honor you and just grow together and serve the Lord together, and I just cannot wait to be married to you and love you and just grow so rich in love.